This is a HeadGum Original. I had to put this on my cat tree, my cat's cat tree, sorry. Um, and now she's on the second tier and she's shaking it all about. So if you guys are sorry. And now I'm seeing Joel and he's sitting and leaning like he's in a press junket. Do you have something to say, Joel? <laughs> What's a press junket? <laughs> you gotta be shitting me with how this episode has started. We started? <laughs> Kidding me? Oh, you guys didn't hear the sound. Okay. No. Yeah, got it. Um, no, we're going. We're absolutely going. I thought that that was the energy that, Joel, you wanted to have going through. Now you can hear this, right? So was that part where you like cut off Allie right as she was in the middle of talking? Was that the beginning of the That was episode? the theme song, yeah. Got it. That's exactly right. I didn't um, even hear that. <laughs> yeah. None of us did. My okay. hair is wet. I'm a little self-conscious about it. We're not going to talk about it. What we are going to talk about is gratitude. I think we should explain to Joel what a press junk it is. Take it away, Marika. It's when, like, for a movie or a TV show, there's people being interviewed for, like, from the cast or director or whatever. And a lot of times now they're on Zoom, and you just look like you're one of those people that's just waiting for questions from bustle or so something it's like, being like that. The peanut gallery. No, not exactly. You, no, you're you're the star of the show. Oh, okay. I'll take it. And everyone else is waiting to ask you a question for five minutes before they have to leave and someone else comes in. And that's your entire day. You're just sitting here. It's basically the surprise 24-hour live stream. <laughs> Joel, was it hard leaving your character behind once filming wrapped? It was hard at first, but I decided to just still wear the clothes and still live my life by a script which kind of made the adjustment easier. I'm so surprised what you're the costume right department let script. you keep the clothes. Yeah, this was all pre-scripted. So how do you know that, because we're asking you questions and you're responding perfectly. You're actually, were you, he was a featured extra in Silver Linings Playbook and he still hasn't let it go. <laughs> Holy shit, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> that was my screen name. For sure. Featured extra. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just like, what movie screening. involves the Eagles? And then that's mm, what I came up no, with. That was really a great wow. poll. That's a good poll. <laughs> um, no Bond of the Week, right? The whole thing is on hold. Because now it's seemingly Killian Murphy that we can fucking oh, talk. Oh, wait. Can no. I say one thing? <laughs> you, you, yeah. This, as soon as we stop doing it, everybody's like, wait, can I give a Bond of the Week? When did we stop doing it? Or why? <laughs> okay, so Marika doesn't listen to the show. So Marika doesn't listen to the show week to week because I said two weeks ago, three weeks ago, um, it's on hold. I don't like that. Okay, um, well, even though it's on hold, um, I do have to say, okay, so both so both of my family dogs just passed away in <laughs> like these last couple of weeks. And so I'm that sorry. has been brutal. Thank you. But it's it's not okay, but it's okay, you know. Uh but anyway, I was talking to my dad on the phone yesterday and he was and I mentioned that I was doing this this week, and he was like, Okay, well, if you do bond of the week, could you just say <laughs> Stan? He he literally was like, Can you just say Stan and George? And they're the okay. bond of the week. Well, no, so, hang on. We have to do a proper one then. Yeah. Bond of the week. Okay, uh, my two dogs who are no longer with us, Stan and George, they would have killed it if they were still around to be cast. In fact, they did. <laughs> That's good. I'll throw in yeah. another dog, Messi, from Anatomy of a Fall. The dog that played Snoop. And I'll throw in a person who's got that dog in him. Leo Messi. Very nice. And I'll do Funky Girl 1020. In her time of mourning. <laughs> Could have gone like Snoop Dogg or something. That would have been clever. <laughs> <laughs> Still in a press junket. <laughs> that would have been clever. Um, Joel, have you been to Philadelphia this year? Several times. I have a new nephew, so there's been a lot of back and forth. Um, 
All right. Um, <laughs> I quarantined him. I quarantined yeah. him and I put him in the waiting room because... Um, yeah. He's not, he wasn't supposed to go. He to, was supposed to stay put a so lot. Fucked. Right. He was supposed to stay put a lot. And yeah, now you should have lied, Joel. I put him on the spot. I put him to the test. And yeah, first of all, you just should have lied. Second of all, you said you've been a ton of times. Yeah, several, like almost, not quite every weekend, but Stumbling I know Marika down. has noticed. Close to it, though. I haven't been in the office quite as much. A lot of people mm-hmm. thought I moved, actually. <laughs> I Con- didn't think that, but I know there's too many There were rumors swirling. Everyone was like, Joel, you freaking moved? I was like, no. I don't who, think there were who rumors. Who started this? There were rumors. <laughs> Did, was it you Sage? You started them. I didn't start them. Who started it? I don't know. So that's the thing about rumors. It's like you never know. Like by you the time I out. hear it, like there's you know, only like six of us. You can find telephone out. Telephone thing. And how has Sage reacted, Marika? Have you heard any word from Sage in terms of winning the Headgum March Madness bracket? Joel oh, and I, Allie, did you see this shit? No. <laughs> did, you, did you see this shit? <laughs> did you see this shit? Did you get a um, lot of this garbage? Yeah. No. I told her last week, right after. Yeah. Um, I'll pull up the slack that she responded with. Um, but, but she, she hasn't seems- seen it happen because it was kind of a momentous occasion. You obviously came in second. I didn't even ask you how you felt about that. And you were on the fucking Zoom. I thought you did ask me. I mean, I, you know, I'm happy someone on my team won. That's a really big, really big deal. Um, I um, feel like I've, I've, I've fostered that. So that's good. Yeah. It's kind of nice to see the next generation sort of usurp your ass. Sure. Sure, or yeah. Like, is it resounding or is it kind of resolute? Is it resounding? Yeah, is it a like, resounding to... yes? Or is I'll it like resolute. fine? Okay, all right. Um, today we're going to talk about gratitude for no reason. <laughs> um, are you guys familiar with Plum Deluxe or no? No, no. So, Plum Deluxe is sort of a community that sells tea. Loose leaf or loosely loose leaf. Remember when you bought uh thirty dollars of Zach Cornfield's tea? Or was it no, it was a hundred dollars. <laughs> That's you a lot when of you tea. You got a reasonable amount of tea. Or no, it was an outstanding <laughs> amount. Um <laughs> Yeah, and I tried to get him to reimburse me and he didn't. So But he paid me thirty dollars. Oh yeah. No, yeah, the, the try guys are on my shit list. <laughs> I'm down to try start some action. Not beat. Ned, though. No, I love Ned. <laughs> Mostly his interpersonal relationships. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so Plum Deluxe is a tea store slash club slash community. Community. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, part of the community is that they have this kind of online journal, right? So I found this article from Andy Hayes that says the gratitude dinner. Mindful conversation starters for your next gathering. So, you know, it's Friday. I think we all have that Friday feeling. I know that a lot of the show is conversation enders. So I'm trying to actually, let's try to have a good episode today. Let's try to actually talk about stuff. Let's try to be a little earnest. Let's try to be a little grateful. Um, We're going to just go through this article and we're going to follow how Andy Hayes thinks that a small gathering should go. Is everyone on board? I guess, yeah. Buried, okay, but. sure. So the first prompt is uh, past. You, we all have to say one thing that we appreciate about the other three. Marika, do you want to start? The so first one? prompt is past? <laughs> past so basically, it's an opportunity to, to open up the gratitude pipeline Got and allow it. the joy to flow. <laughs> <laughs> no, Joel explained it much better. Thank you. How did Joel, Joel say? What did what he did say? He said it's it passed from one person to the next. It's a <laughs> so past. no one's gonna say it. So you're all gonna pass on past. This is a terrible start. Pat. Oh my god. Um. So I have to say something about everybody. All three okay. of you. Sorry. All four of us have to say something. We one thing we appreciate about the other three. So, Marika, you're going to go down the line, and then Allie will go down the line, and then Joel will go down the line, and then Jeez. I'll go down the line. What if each of us just choose one? I just, I, I have I'm a great really trying one for to keep Allie. it together. I'm really trying to keep it together, but you guys Let's are already, like, changing the game. 
Yeah, so let's, like, do, loved, let's do one. We, like, so that's like, an we joined awesome the call, idea. That- and there were two things that happened. One was that Allie thought the first thing I said was how much I missed her, which I wasn't actually saying, although that is true. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the same time, we also have the same plant. So I like me, I'm feeling very bonded with Allie. Wait, pull it out. Get the yeah. get your bamboo. Okay, I'm gonna be- amend my bond of the week to the bond between Joel and Allie's plants. <laughs> That's really good. Um, I fine. I want to also start say... with one. If we can get to more, that'd be great. But Marika, why don't you just pass it off? Yeah, I guess this is kind of a roundabout thing, but it basically I was trying to book this help Anya with booking guests for this episode. And I was like, you know, who'd be good together. Allie and Joel. Never so been done before, guess, by the way, we should say. Yeah. So I was, I think it has. so ultimately that's an Anya compliment for setting that up. But by way of Anya, Jeff being the host, bringing us all here together. That's your compliment is bringing Allie and Joel together for this. So episode. you're sorry. I'm really, again, I'm really going to try and keep it straight laced today, but yeah. already your compliment is to me, but it's really that you like hanging out with Allie and Joel. Well, I'm happy that you, by way of Anya, brought them together. So it's a co- it's more a compliment to Anya, Allie, and Joel. You're just packaging it up and saying it's a compliment to me. Yeah. I don't appreciate it, but we will. I'm grateful for it. Whatever. Allie? Okay. Um, I'm, I'll start with you, Jeff. I'm so grateful for you to you for the time that I was having my job interview here and you happened to walk into the studio while Casey and Anya were on Zoom and said, hey, Allie. And that really, I think, helped me get get some good conversational flow going where I was like, see, it already makes so much sense. I don't think that's the reason you got the job. I don't think it is either, but I think that- I think it was a scarlet letter on your job interview. That was the only con, other than your last name. I think that me saying, oh, I've actually gotten answers from Jeffrey James for years is helpful. (laughs) (laughs) That's so true. It might not be answers you like, but I can get them. I've tracked him down for a decade. Yeah, I can do it. (laughs) Um, Uh, All right. So Allie's compliment to me is, again, sort of backhanded in that you slipped in a thing at the end there that I'm not good at my job. Joel? I already gave one to Allie. What is this? I'm literally starting this. Uh, yeah. The whole thing. It's past. Is what I think we d- and I think we did it because we all did one. I didn't do one and nobody prompted me to. Can we okay, talk about how Jeff? we're doing the fucking prompts from a tea company? Why are we doing a tea <laughs> company <laughs> dinner party prompts? I do it's actually a small gathering, not a dinner company. party. Okay, I was going to say, this guy knows nothing about dinner parties. He probably knows about tea parties. I appreciate I, I, I also want to say right Republican in the house. I, I also want to say when I'm with friends and we have to do a gratitude thing, I don't like it. Yeah, like you don't want birthday. me to. Yeah. I, I'm not about I, it. Our, share our best memory. I don't like it. I feel you like know, there are some people who say they don't like it but secretly like it. Sure. You and know, there's that, always like, is that the case? To, like to receive it. I think Allie might be like that. I believe you, Marika. No, 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 no. I'm I, I'm never one of those. I'm thankful I didn't grow up in a family that was like the roses and thorns at the dinner table. Mm-hmm. Like I, yeah, I, I don't really. Personality that Allie I really don't like planned part, like forced participation in that way. My attitude was always like, if something happened and I want to tell you, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> this whole podcast is forced participation, by the way. I really have a problem with it. (laughs) All right. I appreciate that you guys, um, no, I have to give one compliment. All right. I, Joel, I appreciate that you were honest about not following through and making good on your doled out resolution, your doled out resolution. Um, but I do expect maybe for the, you can make up for it for the rest of the year if you just don't go to Philadelphia and don't say the holidays are really important. Right. Don't say my dad is turning 60. Right. I'm I'm on the Plum Deluxe website. Can we take their um tea quiz? I'll answer. Which, which tea are you? Yeah. I'm obviously grateful for the innovation here, Marika, but you're kind of like slowing us down. You're sitting us down and you're not reconnect. You're not sitting, you're not sitting down. You're <laughs> you're not sitting down. <laughs> you want down. to take it again? <laughs> you're slowing us down. You're sitting down. And you're reconnecting with the wrong things. I feel like I'm connecting with everyone by this. 
We're going to find out our collective T. Fine. What we are as a group as T. Fine, fine. Let's take the fucking quiz. Are you new to T? No. <laughs> no. I've been in the T game. No T w- knowledge whatsoever. Well, I what do you mean? I consider myself right? a T novice. Or I doesn't it sound like tea. strong disagree? If that's an option. Do, doesn't it sound like nudity? <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone else think Are, that? Do you enjoy tea? new to tea? <laughs> um, <laughs> Something I love more than a tea. Should novice. we be? Should, yeah, should we just go tea novice, or do we all know our way around tea? Novice, fine. Mm, I'd say okay. I'm intermediate. Novice is also like kind of a novelty office, which I would say the Union Square office kind of is. Well, it's and what cutesy. sense is it novelty? A slight, yeah, <laughs> it's a little a slight, rinky-dink, we should that's say. That's a slight. Uh, is it only the one basketball studio? hoop I put up? You should be fucking blessed that we have a chine green studio. <laughs> I do appreciate actually. them. Well, it's, you know, it's more of a dupe for chine, but I'll take it. The New York studio looks better on camera. Well, don't say that. <laughs> okay. What type of Continue tea do you like? Tea. Black, oolong, green, white, herbal, chai, pura, herbal. or decaf? Gossip. Sorry, is gossip an option? <laughs> no. Is there one that's like the frog emoji next to the little cup? I don't mind that. Yeah, kind of a global village coffee house thing. Is sleepy time an option? <laughs> that's herbal. Sleepy time, I guess, is herbal. <laughs> We're all such different personalities. Why are we taking or- this together? <laughs> We should all be doing it separately. Tea. I think we're all. I think we're all agreed on herbal. And we're in unity. Yeah. Unity, nudity. What do, you, what do you prefer? Hot, iced. I enjoy both. I enjoy both. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, a resounding hot. A resounding Re- plum. Resounding hot. <laughs> Good band name. That's not bad at all. Or, or is it resolute hot? No. I like resounding hot. Yeah. Because it also sounds like it's resounding. Like sound. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How do you take your tea? Plain with milk, with sugar, with milk and sugar. I enjoy a tea. I enjoy tea a variety of ways. I don't know. Slash I don't know. With a friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you write in with a friend? <laughs> okay, there's no write in option. In variety of ways. But maybe with sugar. <laughs> no. Breaker. Fine, a variety of ways slash I don't know. What are your this favorite flavors? Do we, have any, do we have any idea how many more questions there are? It's probably like three. Fruity, floral, citrus, nutty, spicy, sweet, tart. Citrus. Nutty. <laughs> I think Cit- I'm a, yeah, I'm, I'm a spicy, but I can go citrus. Ow. Caffeine or no caffeine? No. Caffeine. If it's tea, no, because I want to also have my cafefe. Got it. Caffeine so, does but we crazy do, things I, to me. I enjoy both with and without caffeine. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, if we're doing it's like the compromise. collective of our four answers, we should just always do the one with the yeah, slash the in ex- it. amalgam one. All the above. Amalgam in the middle. Nice. That's nothing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's, that's a good pun, but it has nothing to do with the tea quiz. I'm viewing our results. <laughs> but it does have to do with the witch Malcolm in the middle, brother. Wait, wait, wait. Quiz. Before We're we doing review next. the results, Marika. Oh, I would love to. No, no, no. I'm before Malcolm. we re- Here we go. We've never done this on the show. Oh, Cliffhanger. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Guys, how is your social battery right now? Because mine is at an all-time mid. It can be easy to ignore that social battery, though, and spread ourselves thin, especially with social gatherings picking up after the winter. You know, invitations are going out, not necessarily to Joel's house-cooling party, but still. And it's hard to figure out what the right amount of socializing is for you. Like, how do you like to recharge? Maybe you thrive around people, or maybe you need some more alone time. And therapy can give you the self-awareness to build a social life that doesn't drain your battery. I'm in therapy every week. I benefited from it greatly. And uh, I would highly recommend to anyone thinking of giving therapy a try that you start with BetterHelp. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash What's That today to get 10% off your first month. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P.com slash What's That. Thanks, BetterHelp. 
And we're back. Oh. Drum roll, please. Our best matches. Delightful morning blend, parentheses, Earl Grey lavender. I thought it was going to be like oolong and then it was going to be bomb drop and then. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've. The name uh, was I've, oolong. The name was oolong, yeah. Or should we say too long? I know I got nice. it. Nice. That's got, really good. I got it without the explanation. Continue. Felt like Jeff didn't. I haven't Continue. seen you in so long, Joel. <laughs> nice. Is that anything, Jeff? <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> but that part isn't in the episode. So it's an inside joke to just normal conversation. And for we dinner, oh, we'll have a foo long from Subway. Wait. Um, Marika, what was the tea? <laughs> Delightful morning blend, Earl Grey lavender. Okay. Not an herbal tea, but let's just continue on with the gratitude small gathering article. For I thought we were going to do a Malcolm in the Middle quiz. Is that what's happening? Fine, no, I'll stay flexible. Please, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay flexible. I did watch a bunch of Malcolm in the Middle. A few Sorry days to hear ago. That. It's a great show. Everyone should watch it. Brian Cranston has range. Yeah. Comedy and drama. Not many people can say it. <laughs> You're so right, ultimately. Still in Joel's press junket. He's like, Sorry, can you talk <laughs> about me for a second? Yeah, I, I thought we were here to Cranston. talk. <laughs> um, all right, present. Uh, while you search for a Malcolm in the Middle quiz, I'll also continue on with the Plum Deluxe Gratitude Gathering Guide. Pile on the compliments. Now, I'm going to amend this because of the pun. Let's pile on the compliments to pile. Right? Andrew Pyle made the LA office Wi-Fi run so f- much faster than it mm. ever has before. And I am sincerely impressed that he knows how to do that. Marika, um, Andrew, I know this one's tough for you, but you have to give Pyle a compliment. Uh, Pyle gave me access to his Plex server, um, <laughs> so now I can watch a lot of obscure movies and TV shows that I couldn't have found otherwise. So really, really happy about that. Joel? You know, Pyle's been a father figure to not only his three sons, but also me, where I feel treated pretty equally. Like, we all get comments so on our code reviews. Figure. We all get design reviews, uh, sort of a collaborative approach to everything. So it's it's great. Yeah, love Pyle. Do you call Pyle dad? He... Have you ever done it, like, on me, accident? Dad, I mean, Pyle. Ah, this is so embarrassing. He tends to not like it, especially if Peter's around, but sometimes in those one-on-ones. Well, we should say Peter's not around. Peter's in France, so I wouldn't worry about Peter. Do you and call we Peter haven't, And we haven't been in this really? regard. Um, wh- how do you think Peter is faring in France based on your daily interactions with him at work? Is he He's loving thriving? it. He's swimming in the local pool. He's going for bike rides. He's getting his hair cut and asking for what he wants in French and getting roughly what he asks for. <laughs> He's Jeff, I know you life. haven't seen his hair lately, but it's, uh, it's interesting. I haven't. I Does know. it look bad? <laughs> it's interesting. Interesting. Um, people are going to hate this episode, so let's salvage it somehow. Mariko, do you have any ideas? Why are people going to hate it? It's too real. <laughs> I wanted you to come kind up of... with another game or something. Another it's too game. real because you told us to compliment each other for the entire time. <laughs> come each other said, or pile. Let's yeah. be gra- grateful. Let's express gratitude Let's plum deluxe gratitude. style. What was the reason Let's... for that again? I'm forgetting. Because I'm trying to like, this is a kind of a, like, you know, you guys are all very kind. So I'm trying to like be normal for once, but not so normal that the content suffers, right? Plum mm-hmm. Deluxe, Tea, Club, Community. I found a random article I based the entire episode on. <laughs> Future. Plum sucks. 
I'm looking forward to... Tonight, we got a house cooling party, Park East, Manhattan. Everything must, must go. go. <laughs> is this your place? This is my place. I wasn't invited. You want the, do you want the Lucky Bamboo? You can probably have it. Um, and Marika, he heard you. Yeah, no, I could tell. So you I, are All moving. are welcome, as I said. Yeah. Last minute invites are basically a nice way of saying stay the fuck away. Yeah. Last time I had a party, Marika didn't come. I didn't. I knew you were going to say this. I knew you were going to bring it up, and I knew that was why you didn't invite me. <laughs> and I, I knew did. that this episode would need saving midway through. Because every right? story needs a conflict. Because every hero had a comeback. <laughs> Joel's still at his press conference. <laughs> <laughs> guys, Joel, did you guys play pranks on set? <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> we did the thing where... So I peed in everyone's conditioner, which actually no one knew until now. against the law. I so think. this, like, now they'll find out that there were pranks on set. But at the time, I think people just thought that their conditioner was sort of urine <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. All right. What's the worst slash weirdest job you've ever had at HeadGum? Let's say task. Right, I can go. I can go worst for sure. I don't know if it's weirdest. <laughs> what about the one that broke your back? Mike? Yeah, it's that one. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> we don't have to talk about it. It probably wasn't from that. Let's talk about it. Uh, basically, we were renovating an old New York studio, and right before it, uh, everyone was gone except for me. I was waiting for a delivery from Home Depot. Delivery arrived. It was 10 sheets of drywall and 10 sheets of plywood left in front of the building on the concrete. Also, it was raining sheets. It was a <laughs> and it was about to start raining sheets, and no one was around for a reason I won't say. And uh a man like walked by and was like, Do you need help? And I was like, please. <laughs> And I had to bring them all inside. Um, and it was rough. It was hard to do. So that was You broke your fun. back doing it. Why didn't you get wor- workers comp? I don't want to say pay. that I broke my back doing it. Um, I did get workers comp at a previous job for my back. So it was just uh, like something, something ha- got worse after yeah. that. Herniated disc or? Yeah, L5S1 re-herniated last year or two years ago. We've talked about it. Allie? Sorry, what's the question? What's the we- worst slash weirdest job you've had at HeadGum? Um, Marika's was hauling drywall. <laughs> worst? I don't know. Nothing's been that bad. Weirdest, I, then. That's why there's two to choose from. Okay. What about uh, like ordering shrimp delivery for Jeff? I did have, yeah, I did have Didn't to do that. Didn't have to. Did not have to. I, <laughs> I randomly said, oh, I'd love a shrimp cocktail, and then it showed up. <laughs> and that That's a is favor. because. Okay, so, uh, sorry that I anticipated needs. <laughs> That's, I, sorry, that's a, sorry. I tried to make a dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'll that'll oh. do it. Ordering a shrimp cocktail that ended up rotting in the bullpen. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, no. I was listening. I was in charge of uh, if if you said I need a shrimp cocktail, making sure that one was on the way. Making sure or making shrimp. Making sure the shrimp. I'm still on record saying I would do another one. But for longer, one week. Either one for 48 hours that I know about or one for 24 again that I don't know about. As long as my family's not in town. How long did it take your body to recover from doing I, that? I haven't been the same since. And I <laughs> really? think it's a coincidence just but based on also, the normal track of my mental health declining mm-hmm, yeah, last year. But, but it's also a concussion. 
then, well, my mental health started to get better at the end of the year, and then I concussed myself. So now my men, like my mental's fine, my physical's not quite right, Joel style. <laughs> Do you not feel a hundred percent? Are you still are you still experiencing after? I almost shock? canceled this because I'm not feeling well. Oh, like I'm sorry. I just like I, Joel. Have you ever had a concussion? You played sports. No. All right, then I don't know what to say because I can't relate unless someone has had a concussion. Marika, I wear a Allen. mouth guard. Mm-mm. I haven't Nothing. had a concussion. But I have she, a headache right now, if that's helpful. Is that from the content of the episode, or... What no, the hell is this? <laughs> what is this? New iOS. <laughs> yeah, I, have, I don't have the setting on. I don't have it either. What's the... Yeah, if you do something, there's, like, confetti and balloons. Weird. Okay. If you could live anywhere for a year, where would you live, and why would it be really far from Peter? <laughs> I don't think I'd actually be that far from Peter. I'd probably like go to London for a year. Okay. And it wouldn't be, you wouldn't do Gapery? No. I I don't need to go there again anytime soon, to be honest. What I'll happened when you were there that you didn't like? And, uh, all, you yeah. know, they, <laughs> they don't like you <laughs> they there. They were mean to me. Yeah, but uh, what, waitress uh, said these that an Aperol you Spritz at? was a touristy drink and that they didn't make cocktails, even though there was a full bar behind her. Um, where, where were you there? Where was I there? <laughs> <laughs> where were you? I was in that Paris. That they said that. I know. I don't remember what arrondissement. Quatrième. It was arrondissement. It was et... by one of the stations. Was it the ninth? <laughs> I don't by know, man. Guerre du Nord. Yeah, it was by Guerre du Nord. Yeah, that's very yeah. hip. That's yeah, that's probably why. It was you like know? no, it was like an old school French restaurant. And she was like, we oh. don't have cocktails. And I was like, Bizarre. Okay. Très <laughs> bizarre. Sure. I'll go visit Peter um like on the coast of France. That sounds cool. I gotta have Peter on the show to like dissect how he'd made this whole France thing happen. Is he on a how did he get a work visa, first of all? Second of all, he didn't. Really? <laughs> so let's get him on the record on the Zoom in the room. Before he goes on the lamb. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Um, Allie? Uh, I would live in Italia. I don't care where. Joel? Uh, I think I got skipped for the previous question, which is when I was when the sales team from LA was here and they were all out at some bar slash club, and I was getting a bunch of texts like, Joel, it's not just like a want. Marty actually requires you to come to this bar we're at. That was like the weirdest thing that felt like my job. (laughs) 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 All right. um... And yeah, I'll spend a year in Patagonia. Nice. Um, what's one of your most embarrassing memories at HeadGum? It's a good question. I'm surprised that Joel doesn't have like 18 to choose from right now. He's looking like he's stumped. <laughs> I feel like I've been on blast for the better part of the last week in our Slack channel, honestly. The dev channel? No, the East channel. Oh. I'm not on that. What did you do? Uh, Nothing. And there's just like photos of me sitting in the park, photos of me eating Shake Shack mushroom burgers, photos of like yogurt I bought. That's funny. Well, because Sage messaged me and was like, whose yogurt is in the fridge? And you put three quart sized things of yogurt just in the fridge. Joel's yeah, been we're... living in the New York studio, we should say. <laughs> I didn't want to bring it up because I don't want to judge him. Clearly, it's hard times. But... I did a year in the conference room. Yeah, because now you're <laughs> saying that you're doing a house cooling. So I thought that it was that you were without a place to stay. Now that I see that you're in a different apartment, I don't understand why you've been sleeping over. When people the thought phone. I moved, they were right. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't um, move. Nobody told me.
Just come to the house, cool. Okay? <laughs> that was so rude to Marika. All three of us were so rude to her just then, letting her sit in that. Um, Jeff, are you? Do you want to give anyone a compliment? I did. Oh. I, I don't no one that. gave me a compliment. Yeah, just, but no one gave so. me. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. The assignment I wasn't mean, was give okay Marika a compliment. It. it was give one Everyone of the a compliment. Yeah. Well, and you, you, Marika would have gotten three compliments if you guys hadn't adjusted the course of the entire episode by being like, let's just all do one. I think we kind of got back to where we needed to go, right? I mean, oh. just the course of the entire episode. We took a slight detour. Um... When it, you guys are about to go on this Nashville offsite thing. Yeah, are you coming? No, I begged Marty to let me come. I really wanted to record an episode of the HeadGum Podcast in Nashville, where it was kind of like a rotating door, where everybody had like mm. 10 minutes. Like on like one of those cats. things where we bike around drinking beer? That's a better idea, maybe, or, or at the very least different. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, you know, we have a setup. We have the cameras and everything. There's I'm no hosting. time for that. Because of all the like team bonding nonsense that Marty does, mm-hmm. what's what's the schedule? Do you have it? Yeah, we should Marty have Mar- we should you. have Marty on do the, go through the schedule and be like, why? Have him explain why each thing. I I'm not gonna share what he currently wants to do, but you should you should ask him and ask <laughs> him why. <laughs> I'm cool. Um. Well, ha- Marika, has your dad heard the Rice songs? Uh, he hasn't heard them. But I've told him about them. He actually sent me a, a magazine that he and his friend are in. It's over here. Rice Tri Monthly. <laughs> <laughs> That's three times a month. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find it. He was interviewed with his BFF, Hanif. Uh, I imagine Rice will come up somewhere. Have you read it, the interview? No, I haven't had the time. What have you been busy with? Work. Yeah. There he is. That's them. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great, great pick. Did, what, didn't he also appear on TV once? Uh, he's Yeah, I mean, he's been in like some news segments. I think it was on yeah. Good Morning America. Um, he was in Bon Appetit. It's really, I really, well, I hope and we should say one not day. Bon Appetit, Bon Appetit, which is the dog version. <laughs> yeah. I feel yeah, like you yeah. should frame that. He made rice yeah. flavored dog treats <laughs> and went <laughs> dry roll. <laughs> um, I really want him to be on the bear somehow. I think that would be really funny. Well, I think they're doing their last two seasons in conjunction shooting this year. So it's get him on happen. there. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Um, all right, let's just fucking end it. Plugs. I thought this was fine. I had a nice time. Yeah. I, I think we had a fun conversation mostly, but that's the issue. The well, episodes where we have the most fun, correct, are the ones that the fans hate. I, I don't know. And vice we'll versa see. or not vice versa? <laughs> my favorite episodes are the ones where there's like some kind of theme and what was like, the theme for this episode gratitude gratitude me shedding rigidity <laughs> Joel failing his doling out resolutions what I not really funny. I do I do want to you shedding rigidity <laughs> <laughs> it yeah, sounded and like virus yeah okay <laughs> it's like when tea comes out of the bag Brought it back to Plum Deluxe. I don't mind reaching out to Plum Deluxe to try and get a sponsorship. I'd love a tea sponsorship. Yeah. You know how when you guys are about to move, Joel, you might get this. You f- like, do you feel like you're about to change parts of your personality that you want to? Because you're moving house. I haven't, but that's a really good idea. <laughs> what would you change? I feel like that every time I move. I'm like, in this new house, I'm going to be totally different. I'm going to be healthier. I'm going to drink tea and I'm not a tea guy. I also feel like you really base your personality on location. And how do you figure? Because of Laurel Canyon? 
Yeah. <laughs> a place I haven't quite been able to get into. You've yes. been close to it. Yeah. I've we drove past it. it. That makes sense for you. With your current hairstyle, you're so Laurel Canyon. Joel, come on. Yeah, Joel. You want me to stick up for you? I, what, what do you want from I'm, me? I'm giving you a compliment. <laughs> Joel, what neighborhood are you moving to? Williamsburg. Williamsburg, you already said that. I listened when? to Joel. When? when? Marika might have been room. getting her headphones or something. Headf- yeah, you're yeah right. I wasn't. Right, I didn't that. hear it. I didn't mean to jump down I didn't know he mo- was moving. Move. Yeah, yeah, the point is moot, though. We should say I don't think you. I don't think you can change to a Williamsburg person. Which is a good thing. Really? No, I disagree. I think Joel is Williamsburg now. Well, we were talking about so. it. He's going to get really into overalls. Oshkosh bagosh. Yeah. Again. I, I think, already have I don't a think, set. I don't think overalls are even a thing in Williamsburg anymore. I think Williamsburg is parents now. Damn it. Joel is going to sneak past the National Guard with one of those things that he places on the tracks of the L and goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> A minecart. <laughs> yeah, that'll be Joel in overalls in Brooklyn. <laughs> that was a Hidgum original.